Hey everyone, today we will show you seven quick tips for better tasting coffee. Tip number one is buying your coffee from a coffee roaster. Buying your coffee directly from a roaster ensures that their coffee is not sitting on a shelf in a supermarket for months, giving you the freshest cup of coffee. Tip number two is grinding your own coffee. Buying whole bean coffee from a coffee roaster and grinding it in small portions will allow your coffee to stay fresher for longer. Tip number three for better tasting coffee is having your coffee in an airtight container. Oxygen is the enemy of coffee and storing it in this container away from the sunlight in your kitchen cabinet will allow it to stay fresh and not stale. Tip number four is water quality. Water quality is everything when it comes to coffee. There's filtered water, which makes good coffee, and non-filtered water, which makes poor tasting quality. So don't brew your coffee with toilet water. Step number five is proportions. Not enough coffee and your coffee's gonna be way too weak. Too much coffee in your coffee pot and your coffee's gonna be far too strong. The National Coffee Association recommends two tablespoons per six fluid ounces of water as the gold standard, and we recommend the same. Step number six is cleaning your coffee equipment. A lot of people overlook this step, but it is very important. If you're not cleaning your coffee pot regularly, you're gonna have a dirty cup of coffee. Tip number seven is experimenting with your coffee. I went to Japan about a year ago, and we had this wonderful latte with orange peel slices and chocolate powder on top of a vanilla latte, and it was fantastic. So I came back to the United States and bought these ingredients to experiment with my coffee. The more you experiment, the better your coffee will be. And a bonus tip number eight is looking into Freedom One coffee as it will give you the best cup of coffee you've ever had. So putting our seven tips in action, we're doing Battle of the Blends. We have a blend from a local supermarket and then we have a blend from Freedom One coffee, the Blackbird blend. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference in, not the taste per se, and it's not a tutorial, but the freshness of the coffee that you won't be able to see otherwise in the coffee pot. So I'm gonna use a pour over and show you how the coffee reacts to the water. So we have our pre-ground coffee from the supermarket. We have our hot water in our kettle at 200 degrees. And then we have our pour over, which is gonna show you guys the difference in the freshness of coffee between these two blends. So first I'm gonna get two tablespoons of coffee, scoop it into the pour over. And then I already have my hot water in here. I'm gonna start making this coffee. And as you can see, the coffee's really not reacting too much to the hot water as it should. So right away, I can tell that this is not fresh coffee. I don't know how long this has been in the supermarket or in this bag, but just by judging, it, it's probably been months. Next up in our battle of the blends, we have Blackbird. We have this whole bean. We just ground exactly what we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the difference. I'll do two tablespoons again. So it's the same proportion as before. Keep that constant, have hot water again. Right away, even without the visual, I can tell that the smell is a lot different as well. So you can see that this coffee is blooming a lot more. It's, it's rising more to the top than the other coffee was. It just looked like I poured hot water over dirt, it just got wet. But this coffee is actually responding <laughs> to the water itself. And so you can continue to see. That the coffee is reacting and it is rising. And you can tell that it's making a a good, strong cup of coffee. 